So for about the last year, we've been asking our customers to make video reviews of their hearing aids that we could post to our YouTube channel. And we have more than 50 videos at this point. In those videos, a lot of our customers really give great advice on buying hearing aids and getting used to them. And there's a lot of good info in those videos, but no one has time to watch 50 videos. Uh, so I thought it'd be cool to do like a super cut of all those videos and put all that advice into a single video uh, so that you can really quickly get a lot of different perspectives about buying hearing aids. But first, subscribe to this channel. Uh, everything I publish will bring value to you as a hearing aid wearer or someone in the market for hearing aids. All right, here we go. My number one advice I would give to you if you are considering hearing aids is to give it time during your trial period. Wear them every day. That first week is going to be a little bit rough or uncomfortable as you're adjusting to them. And I remember thinking, oh my goodness, I just, I feel them. I hear everything and my hair rustling would make noise, but you do get used to it. Um, and now I'm to the point where I automatically put them out in and I kind of forget that they're there, except for that they do amplify and make me be able to hear conversations and participate in a lot more activities because I'm able to hear everything a lot better. The, the one thing, the one piece of advice that I give them is to go through ZipHearing.com, um, especially to price shop, uh, because the difference in price from the $6,500 that my audiologist um, quoted me and the price that I actually got them uh, for through Zip Hearing was almost a $2,000 difference. I can tell you the number one piece of advice I'd give you, um, don't wait. Uh, it's a nice way to, you know, bring a lot back to your life and be able to hear conversations that you couldn't uh, otherwise hear before. My advice is when you get them, use them, put them in, even if you're not going anywhere, if you're going to be at home alone all day, still put them in to get used to them. I never had a problem getting used to them. I've heard of other people that had a problem. Mine were perfectly fine from the moment I put them on. I would say probably the best advice is go ahead and do some research. I went to three different companies and you can try them all, at least in the state of Oklahoma, for over 30 days. So I went to three different companies, realized the phone acts were what I wanted. And then after I did that, I decided Zip Hearing was the best, the cheapest and all around the best deal for the money. A piece of advice uh, that I would share with everybody is, look, hearing aids are really hard to buy. And I guess if you've never been there, you don't really understand it, but it's super overwhelming. There's like way too many options out there. They're super expensive. It's like a major financial commitment for those of us who pay out of pocket. Um, piece of advice. Uh, it was a huge gift to stumble upon the zip hearing uh, videos. Okay, so they do reviews on different hearing aids. I learned about major brands um, that are kind of like go-tos. That really narrowed it down from like hundreds of options to like six major brands. And therefore, I was able to go from there and single in on what I purchased. So my advice to you would be to go with the zip hearing <clears throat> or any other reviews you can find on the YouTube um, or talk to other people that wear them, get as much advice as possible because I had been given other advice and by a different audiologist for a different pair and I just didn't feel right about it. I didn't feel right about the brand for me and I'm glad that I kept looking. Um, the advice I would have for you, even though I would recommend this particular model, the uh, P70 phone hack, is to do some research on your own. There's lots of YouTube videos out there and it's a great way for you to evaluate um, the features and hear from other users and other audiologists. I would also say don't un overspend. You may not need the very top of the line. See if one of the mid-range models works for you and um, do a little bit of research. I think you feel more comfortable at the end of the day. The one piece of advice that I would give to someone considering purchasing hearing aids is that you gotta be certain you're not better off not hearing what's going on in the world. I mean, there's a lot of noise out there and you know, I'm hearing it every day and you get to hear it really, really crystal clear. So, uh, of course you can always remove them from, you know, your ears and you know, that's an option. So, but, um, 
You know, I had an uncle that never wore his hearing aids because he said there's nothing worth hearing, except that when I went to talk to him, he put them in. The best I can advice that I can offer to you is to get your hearing tested. If your hearing is deficient, then purchase hearing aids. If your pride is stopping you, get over it. If hearing loss continues without hearing aids, then the experts say that this can lead to permanent hearing loss that is not correctable. That happened to a friend of mine, and it is tragic. So let me tell you another thing. My advice to anybody bearing, wearing hearing aids is twofold. First, don't wait too long to get your hearing aids. Uh, I waited a long time and uh, I got tired of my wife saying, you got poor hearing. And I said, no, I don't have poor hearing. I just got uh, selective hearing. At any rate, don't wait too long. It's better to get into and start getting adjusted to them. It takes a little bit of adjustment. And the second reason, and the most important one as far as I'm concerned, is find a place that's got an audiologist that you can work with and you're comfortable working with, and he or she is comfortable working with you. Uh, this is important because you need to not only adjust them when you buy them, but they need to be continually adjusted. Uh, it, as people get older, their hearing changes. And I've had many uh, hearing tests with, with audiologists uh, because that's the way they could tell my hearing was changing and they could readjust my hearing aids. But that's probably the most important thing that I would uh, give to you is find a specialist that you're comfortable with and they work with you and they're happy working with you because it's it's an important part of it. You just can't go buy them on the web or wherever you would like to buy them and get them touched up once. And then you, if you don't have somebody to continue to do it, you're going to be in trouble with your hearing aids. I have a lot of friends that never wear their hearing aids because they never got them to work for them. And this is probably the main reason why that they didn't work for them. They never kept them adjusted to their hearing. So my advice to anybody who needs hearing aids is, you know, accept that you have a hearing problem. There's nothing wrong with a, with wearing hearing aids and do your research. And I'm sure once you find all of the different brands and all the providers, you will come back to Zip Hearing. They saved me a ton of money. They found a great provider, a great hearing aid, and they have, um, I'll be with them for as long as I need hearing aids. So and the one piece of advice I would give to anyone considering a hearing aid is find one that you enjoy, particularly in terms of hearing people clearly and hearing music in a way that you haven't heard for years. Uh, the number one piece of advice uh, which my cousin gave to me was uh, definitely see an audiologist, a doctor of audiology. Uh, the number one piece of advice that I would give to somebody who's considering hearing aid is to don't wait as long as I did and get it done and start living your life the way you should. My one, number one advice is if you're struggling with hearing, you're having hearing difficulties, don't put it off. Just go get it done. Advice I would give for people who are looking to buy hearing aids, if you've never had them and you need them, absolutely, you need to get them. It's a game changer. At this point in your life, hearing is essential. It's quality of life issue. And do your homework and also try a number of different brands and models to see what's best for you. What is the number one piece of advice to someone who's considering purchasing hearing aids? Well, I'd go to, I went to three different, um, providers to, uh, or, you know, the hearing aid provider to see, uh, get tested. And the third one was the one that I found to be the people that I felt most comfortable with. Um, as far as, uh, zip hearing, I bought the, uh, I placed the order through the provider that was going to fit them. And then, um, everything worked out just fine. But 
I would recommend going to two or three different uh, people to get your ears tested, your hearing tested, because you may find a better fit with one of them than with, uh, you know, another. And the number one p piece of advice that I would give to someone who is uh, considering purchasing hearing aids is do your research, look at the different brands, and talk to someone that has used them. The number one piece of advice I could give to someone considering purchasing hearing aids is do not be afraid to try them. Sip hearing is okay with you trying hearing aids. I did it until I found the perfect one for me. So many people would recommend just getting the baseline technology. You can watch YouTube nonstop. It's always people saying, just get the baseline. Just get the baseline. There's no reason to get the extra features. Just get the baseline. But I've tried a baseline. I tried a premium hearing aids. There have been studies done on these. The premium hearing aids are usually chosen over blind studies anyway. But the reason why I like the premium hearing aids and I think it's worth a little bit of extra money is just because I connect to my computer. I'm speaking to you through these hearing aids right now on my computer through the YouTube video you're gonna be watching very shortly. That's amazing. The baseline improves your hearing greatly. There's nothing wrong with it. If you want the baseline, go for it. But as a young person, headphones, AirPods, new speaking microphones, headsets, they are a thing. You're kind of left out without them. And let me offer up just one final piece of advice. And it won't be surprising given what I've already talked about. When you purchase hearing aids, consider investing in models with all the technology you are able to afford. I don't think you'll regret it.